good morning. Backpackers, backpackers, backpackers everywhere. This one comes from Nairobi to my village right now. Hey guys, how are you? Uh, hi guys, good morning and how are you? Today I'm vlogging. Today it's vlog day. See who I have today. I have my dad here with me and we have a journey now to go. So guys, it's good morning again and today AM Carol is on the on the road vlogging today's vlogging day water water aside definitely <laughs> but guys i have a lot to tell you you know i have a lot a lot to tell you but unfortunately uh i'm taking my dad to the big city today so we are flying from kisumu to nairobi and uh, you know definitely it's our brother my brother actually my favorite brother the one who decided to take us to the airport let me just show you around at least for a change okay at least for a change this is the kisumu actually this is the entrance of kisumu international airport this is the entrance guys as you see usually i know most of you guys you have traveled you know how these things happen i don't need to tell you all these things you know definitely but this kisumu airport is just a small airport and i just said to take my dad in one because from my hometown guys to nairobi is seven or eight hours drive so just sitting in a bus for eight hours with an old man like my dad is just so hectic i know some of you have met my dad in some of my videos and i'm also one of my favorites how, how do you call it i don't know how you call it like daddy's girl yeah i'm a daddy girl so I had an issue to go to Nairobi to sort out and definitely I had to go with my dad. We are going also to visit a very special person in Nairobi. Maybe I'll be introducing you to him or maybe I don't know. But let's see how it goes. Let's flow with the vibe as David Junior usually says. Let's flow with the vibe. Yeah, so this is Kisumu International Airport. Look at this guys. Just look at this. And maybe definitely very soon you might be seeing me in Migori. <laughs> this is Kisumu. You might be seeing me in Migori International Airport. Eh? Coming down in Yabohanse. You know the three musketeers in Yabohanse, those reactors, they've already invited me to go and do a collab with them. So definitely anytime soon, guys, I'll be landing also in Nyabuhanse. Is it Nyabuhanse International? No, it's, it's Migori Airstrip. Actually, it's an airstrip. But this one in Kisumu is not an airstrip. It's an airport. This one is an airport, unfortunately. So, guys, let's move with the vibe as I show you around uh, Kisumu International Airport. And also just share with you a few moments because... I know there's a lot to talk about but for now let's just move with the vibe and see how our journey will be like that's one hour here we are at the airport which way hand screening in the hand you have it I feel so blessed, you know, traveling with my dad. Definitely this is not the first time that I'm traveling with my dad, but at least by air, this is the first time I'm traveling with him by air. Yeah, and also, this is not his first time to fly. This guy is a graduate from India. He did uh, civil engineering. He has some degrees in civil engineering. He went abroad, definitely. He's been flying these things in his life. So it's not a new thing. In the airport, he met up with an old friend. The other old man is also 92 years old. <laughs> 92 years old these old men are enjoying their lives you know I, I always pray to God so that when I reach this age I'll be just living my life still flying you know 
moving from one place to another it's so easy you know yeah so we are waiting for the flight right now as we wait the old men are catching up i can't catch up with their stories because honestly speaking i i don't know what they're talking about i can't catch up even if even if i listen to them i can't catch up that's it now back to our water water let's just get back to our water there are some things that guys you people had written me in my inbox asking me a few things and i'm like you know here i don't answer questions i don't do the judgment here we all analyze together that's what we do back here now i want to put this topic here so that all of us we can analyze it and leave it in the comment section guys we know how we do this thing together all right listen someone said that uh, marwa should prepare a bouncing castle and put it in his compound so that they can have a place for the kids and a place for the adults what do you think can he do that will he do that can someone go and advise him to do that and what do you think about that another thing someone was asking me why are people eating cabbages and ugali instead of eating the goats nyamachoma and all those goat meat chicken meat the cows what happened to the all to all those things why are those people eating cabbages like almost every day and they're showing it on camera guys what happened to the gods hmm? <laughs> kindly answer me in the comment section i really want to know this there's also this other thing that uh, masubo one had talked about that baba marwa or marwa's dad beats up cloud joseph what do you think happened actually i really wanted to do a detailed video about this issue but i don't know guys because honestly for me we all know that this was a passport bro kind of uh, a, uh, a party and definitely it was like a way of marwa bringing in the the foreigners international foreigners to hook up with village girls and and, and you know introduce these girls to these foreigners or these foreigners coming to just you know play with the girls around in the village this was a party a dirty party actually so marwa's dad he doesn't understand that so when he came over at night and he found some dirty things happening in the party this is when all these fights happened does he really understand what this party is all about can someone tell him guys let's get in the comment section and talk about that because it is a wanting issue now there is something else again <laughs> i want to talk about someone said um listen to this let me maybe read this to you hi carol how are you can you analyze if maybe marwa promised african village cook a husband from america remember the day before stefan came and african village cook bring food on the balcony to marwa and the girlfriend then marwa told african village cook maybe she and stefan can hook up and then he can take her back to america before the party she used her own money to buy the cook the, the cook food for marwa maybe just maybe marwa brought this man over to sleep with these girls this is what i'm talking about it's all about the passport bro dirty party you know if this man came around and marwa has mobilized all these wannabe youtubers to be hooking these girls with this man you know anyway for me my opinion is that this was part of the agenda definitely definitely this was part of you know if people some of you have not been following us for a very long time kindly do go back and check on the videos we've been talking about this thing especially the passport bro issue we've been talking about it marwa has been trying to mobilize people international people to come in the village and you know hook them up with these girls and i don't understand or i don't know if these girls do understand you know all this then there's another one a message again about dimwango i want also to read with you there is uh, more than it meets the eye d has been praising his brother how his brother always have his back 
But what she wrote on her IG and what she has been disclosing of late about her childhood speaks volume. It's like Maro has manipulated her sexually and financially and also and also psychologically. If you check on the post that Dimango did over there, you can see it's written, I'm so proud of myself, hardworking because I know I got my own back. Thanks if you support me. What do you think, guys? Why is she writing that she got her own back? Just the other day she was talking about how Marwa got her back. In everything she does, in everywhere she goes, you know, every decision she makes, how she's managing her life, her relationships, and even in the letter that Marwa wrote to her after her breakup with her breakup with JB, it was all about my sister, I got your back, I want to do these things, don't do things without telling me, and this has been happening. Why is it that now, this time, she's getting her own back? Where is Marwa now in this? And remember also lately she's been talking about some of the abuses that she went through. She's been telling us like indirectly. You know, we are mature people here, guys. We do understand that these things happen. And we've been disagreeing with some of the things that she's been saying here. Like your brother cleaning you and getting into your aunties and cleaning everything for you feeding you washing your aunties for what how does your brother get into that you know she's been actually telling us how she has really suffered in her life <laughs> in the hands of her brother so now she is out here guys imagine she is out here trying to show us what is happening so guys we've just boarded the plane now it came in a little bit later we boarded the plane now I'm just looking at my dad, like trying to admire how lucky he is and also how lucky I am at the same time to have this opportunity to fly with him, to go around with him. I'm just trying to imagine what is he thinking right now? He's scrolling his phone, comfortably sitting in his chair. You know, it looks so amazing. Let me tell you guys, there's one thing that we should know so long as you're still living. If you, some of us don't have parents, some have parents. But for those who have parents, okay, for those who don't have parents, I'm so sorry, it happened. You know, sometimes things happen in life, okay? I feel you guys, I feel you. But for those who have parents, love your parents. Sometimes you might not know where your blessings are coming from, okay? Just love them. Just do anything that can make them feel so loved. Okay, like for me, I know I have done so many things for my parents, especially my dad. So many things that are off camera. Some are also on camera. I remember uh, in August, I celebrated my birthday. Instead of celebrating my birthday, I decided to celebrate my dad. Because, you know, without him, definitely I'm not here. I can't be here. Now, this time I just had to take him. Definitely we had a trip. And this trip we were going to visit. Uh, my son who lives in the city and I was like I'm going to visit my son my dad is like yeah I miss him because my son won't be coming home for Christmas let's go and visit him and I'm like okay let's make it a trip an exciting trip together and so I came up with this something that will just show him that he feels the love you know anyway getting back to the topics that <laughs> we've talked about getting back to the topic someone also told me that someone should tell marwa to cut his hair <laughs> guys i don't know because honestly since marwa came in he did his haircut in nairobi i can't remember him doing a haircut and i've been trying to look he at him in the videos and he's not looking so well especially that video that he did when he was begging for the gopro Oh my God, he was looking like a real beggar in the real streets, not even in the real streets of America, like in the real streets of, of Africa. You know, he's so shaggy. The hair is so shaggy and he's the billionaire. You know, people are looking at him running to the village because of him as a billionaire. Why can't he be a bit neat? 
do his hair and everything. All these things I'm talking about, guys, someone sent me in the comment section. People are telling me like, hey, Carol, you know, sometimes I say, sometimes it's good to share these things also, you know, in the comment section, because we want to analyze together, guys. We want to analyze. When you see me pulling some of the messages from the inbox back to the video, it's because sometimes I don't have the answers. Sometimes I just don't want to give the answers without all of us analyzing and going through it. So we leave the comments down in the comment section and discuss about all these things you know someone saying marwa's hair not billionaire's hair someone tell him to cut it i think this was in the comment section someone tell him to cut his hair <laughs> guys can someone come out and go and tell marwa to cut his hair because oh my goodness this is not good this is not good and also what else? What else, guys? Yeah, I had also asked you guys, why are people eating cabbages? Every time people are eating cabbages in the village, what's happening? Why are people eating cabbages? People are supposed to be eating goats and chickens and, and, and cow meat. Or what happened to the chicken, by the way? There was bad flu, so the chicken died, all of them. Did they die or they were slaughtering and eating them when they were still sick? Something like that happened. Yeah? Let's talk about these things in the comment section. Let's talk about these things in the comment section. And also, don't forget to analyze this issue with me about Marwa's dad coming back in Marwa's villa or compound to start beating people up. What do you think this boy did exactly? Has someone come out to explain to us what this boy did that he deserved to be beaten up by Marwa's dad? This Cloud Joseph girl, guy, what really happened to him? What were they really doing? How did it reach there? I'm curious. I want to know. But unfortunately, you know what, guys? I am traveling. And so, because of traveling, I'll yeah. just leave it here. We thank God for journey masses. Welcome back to Nairobi. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I was in Nairobi. <laughs> it's been a year, almost a year and a half. How oh, dare me. Guys, we are in Nairobi with my guests, the one and the only. <laughs> How are you feeling, Papa? Sour, sour. Uh, Papa is feeling sour, sour. <laughs> Papa is feeling sour, sour. He has really enjoyed. It was a one-hour flight from Kisumu to Nairobi. This is Wilson Airport. Uh, it's, it's one of the smallest airports. Is there any other? small airport apart from me it's just this one, eh? no, yeah. this one in Nairobi this one is the smallest one and then Jomo Kenyatta is the biggest one the international one yeah so guys welcome back to Nairobi I hope I will show you around I hope you will enjoy seeing me and my dad doing our thing in Nairobi <laughs> oh my goodness I'm going to enjoy this one <laughs> all right see you Apparently, it happens that uh, we are going to visit a very special person in our lives. Guys, first of all, you have to know something. My dad is my first love. My dad is my first, first, first ever love. <laughs> my second love, like the real, real, real blood love. You know, we are just talking about blood, guys, okay? The real, real blood love is my son. And that's the person that we are going to visit right now, right now in Nairobi. Traffic jam is traffic jamming in Nairobi. <laughs> Something that I ran away from. I ran away from the city. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a city girl. I was born in the city, definitely. But this city, I've just had enough of it. Enough is enough. All the traffic jam, all the shenanigans in the city, I ran away from it. Coming back to visit, I couldn't imagine at some point in my life that I'd be coming back in the city to visit my son. You see, sometimes how life is. Anyway, it is what it is. So we're here with my dad, enjoying this luxury car. And by the way, guys, if you're coming to Nairobi, eh, hook me up, hook me up. I will get you the best NBA um the best maybe drivers in town this is actually an uber that had to take me from the airport to where we were going to 
the best luxurious luxu- luxurious I'm a luxurious <laughs> luxurious 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 yeah the best of the best uber this is almost like a private car it can take you anywhere you can book it for like a whole day you know the best of the best and i can tell you that this man was enjoying the city he is really enjoying he told me that he's he stayed away from the city at least for two years now he's never been into nairobi so coming back to nairobi it was like we are coming to a new place so i don't know guys i don't know what to show you i don't know not what to show you or what not to show you but one thing i know about nairobi is that it's free to vlog around anywhere around this place is so free like you can't be asked why are you vlogging if you all remember the story about miss trudy and what happened to hide mombasa she was complaining saying that in nairobi we vlog everywhere in the malls on the streets in the hotels where wherever wherever we just vlog but now you see i've not been in nairobi for a long time so i'm like maybe someone might snatch my camera or something so i'm very careful when vlogging in the city it's not my thing vlogging it's not my calling as you all know what what my reaction is my calling this one now <laughs> i'm just tempted not really tempted but i just want, i just wanted to do a video guys since you are part of me just to show you where i am and how this place looks like and some of the things that we can do and for those who are thinking of visiting kenya definitely i've met a lot of messages people telling me how they can come and visit kenya yeah i'm a nairobi person i know people in nairobi a lot and i can hook you up in the best hotels best taxis or cars or ubers or private uh maybe some private accommodation if possible and also some private cars personal ones you know or rental ones let me say so yeah so this guy here is my old friend i called him i was like i'm back in the city and he's like i'm coming to pick you up so we are just rolling in the city like this but i just want to show you the final person that you are going to meet. gentlemen i've never introduced you to this guy this is the main person that we came to visit in nairobi as small as he is as tall as he is as handsome as he is 
as whatever as he is <laughs> the grandfather and the grandson love is just on a different level this is the guy that made us wake up very early in the morning to take a flight to Nairobi just look at him yeah he is the one that brought us in the city so we want to go and have some fun and we need to go and talk 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 encourage him is not coming back home for christmas and he's you know going for his attachment and he's doing what are you doing journalism yeah yeah doing journalism so he's not coming back home for christmas so he's just coming in to pump in some wisdom in his head encourage him in life everything and everything and everything so this is how it went i hope guys will love this video i have a lot to show you but i don't know how to because you know it is all about family when it comes to family it is family you know and maybe tomorrow hey actually guys by the way i'm planning to meet up with my best best ever reactor in town in nairobi town so maybe you should just hold on and wait for the best reactor in town to appear in my video for the first time ever if she's listening to this video kindly kindly my appointment don't bring it down please appear 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 so guys thank you so much for watching thank you so much for watching and let's catch up on another water water but while i'm still in the city i just want to do a few vlogs before i go back on my table definitely right now i don't have a table to sit on and talk about the issues that are happening and by the way what happened to sejo people are writing to me telling me updating me on issues about sejo and masubo the fire that is going on there i'm just very busy with family right now but guys you just have to forgive me let me just show you another part of me before we come back to the water water i hope you'll just like it my favorite reactor tomorrow in my video we are going to vlog i don't know what you're going to do with her i don't know when i called her i don't know what i'm going to do with her but guys just stay tuned and thank you so much for watching like this video leave your comments down below subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed and remember to answer the questions that i had asked you cheers cheers cheers